Hi my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm a psychic, medium, oracle, and prophetess. So welcome, welcome my loves. If this is your first time here, welcome. Splitting the deck here, we have Sovereignty, Queen of the Moon. We are in the energies of the new moon in Aquarius right now. Okay, uh, you guys have seen the title of this of this reading. So this is going to be a, today is February 2nd, okay? Two, 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 okay? So it's a powerful day. It's a powerful day. I posted all about it on my community page. You can go check out what today, the vibrations and the portal of 222, like what it all means and all that. Okay, but this reading is in honor of that. So we're going to see what the universe has to say, what they want you to know. This is uh, just for whoever needs it, whoever's drawn to the title. Okay, my loves. All right, so let's get right into it. It's beautiful, the path. And then 23 popped right out, gratitude and fruition, bottom of the deck. We have the paths are opening. Paths are opening for you. I literally just got done talking about how 222 is a portal. So today, the the, the date to, uh, today, right? It's, it's a portal. It's a beautiful energy portal. And then the first card out you guys get for the reading is the path. It's time to step up. It's time to step up. Climb that ladder. Take that lead and walk through that portal. It looks a little scary, right? You see the, I mean, you see the green, right? It's not so scary at first, but then you see the, the clouds, okay? This is not knowing. This is unclear. It's It could be, you know, it's just not knowing. It's unclear. You can't see, you know, like when you're looking out in clouds or the fog, you're like, is, I can't really see in front of me. I can't see too far in front of me. Like, you know, you go real slow if you're driving in the fog because you can't see in front of you. Even sometimes with fog lights, you can't see, right? It's that dense. It's thick. That's what this is. And that is truly what today is about, my loves. It is literally about trusting in the unknown okay um allowing yourself to to be balanced and high vibrational and not to worry about what is what is up ahead 222 on the timestamp right as i say that you guys not to worry with what's up ahead 222 on the timestamp beautiful energy also this is card number eight eights are the infinity symbol it's infinite abundance infinite potential infinite prosperity, infinite love, infinite healing, infinite growth, infinite possibilities. It is infinite. That is what spirit wants you to know. Look, look, you guys, the, the second card out here is 23. Okay. Could be an age. All right. Um, speaking of ages for some of you guys, I am getting around the age of eight years old. Okay. So this is going to be inner child. This is going to be child stuff, right? Around the ages of eight years old, for some of you guys watching this, you experienced traumatic loss. This could have been your parents divorcing. This could have been you losing a parent. This could have been a multitude of things. But you experienced trauma around this age, okay? And for some of you guys, around the age of 23 is when you experience some trauma in your life, okay? Now, it doesn't have to be those exact ages. It could be ages six, seven, nine, ten, right? Or even 20, 19, 22, 24, right? It's just in the vicinity, okay? So spirit wants you guys to know that they've been holding you this whole time. They've been walking with you, holding you. Um, they see how far you've come, okay? Um, for many of you guys, even at a young age, you held the wisdom of a crone. You held the wisdom of someone older, wiser. Why? Because for a lot of you guys, your your light worker star seeds, you have old souls. You incarnated here as an old soul. So you resonate. You know, even as a young age, you see the children's hand, the child's hand holding the elderly woman's hand. Okay? That's you. And this is you back here looking at both your energies. Spirit wants to remind you to have gratitude in this time. 23 breaks down to um, have gratitude, be present, and, and be so appreciative. That's another thing about 222 Portal, you guys. Is it's, I even posted it. You know, It's about being in this moment and being super grateful, being present, um, and understanding that whatever you're manifesting right now, bottom of the deck is fruition, my loves. Look, 37. Could be an age. That's my age. I'm 37, you guys. <laughs> but 
but it breaks down to a 10. Tens are new beginnings, right? It's the end of a cycle and then it becomes a one. So this is something coming to fruition. We have the full moon back here, right? We see it's the end of a phase. It's fruition time. And then look at that right after 37, which breaks down to 10, is a literal 10. Discernment. And then right after that, my loves, look, you can't make this shit up. Two. In honor of the 222 two, two reading, Spirit wants you to know that there are new beginnings coming. And that, my loves, is exactly what 222 two, two is bringing in for you. It is bringing in all the things that you've been manifesting. Okay, you've been on this path. You guys have been in the darkness. You guys have come to this place where, look, you're kind of in the middle, but not totally. See, it's not a completely centered you know, cut in half moon. It's the, um, I can't even think of what the half moon is called right now. You guys, my mind is like, Bleh. um, you guys are more than halfway there, right? It's more than halfway. You're more than halfway. And, and that's what they want you to know. Like you're so close, right? So there's a full moon here, a full moon here. We have new beginnings. We have two portals opening. We have two portals. We have the path and then new beginnings. You see this, you guys, we have two portals, two, 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 two portals we have this one and this one this one love romance divine unions relationships the other one everything else it's everything else that is unclear unknown but you're going anyways you're walking the path look at you you're going into your into your truest divinity you don't know what lies ahead but listen you trust that spirit has you and they're guiding you and holding you right and you're so grateful Keep your vibration in a grateful energy at this time, you guys. Know that everything that you're manifesting right now, today especially, right? These energies from today until 222, I mean the 22nd, powerful. Things are going to be coming to fruition fast, quick, okay? So use your discernment. See, spirit is, is they're guiding this reading beautifully right now. Beautifully, you guys. By the way, this new beginnings portal and the path portal card, Eight and ten, that equals what, you guys? I mean, eight and two equals what? Ten. Ten. We have ten, ten here. There's so much completion here. And the twos are these new beginnings. They're the, it's the balance. New beginnings. All right. So things are coming to fruition. For some of you guys, it happens today. For some of you guys, two, two, two pushes something through today. It could have already happened. All right. So let's see. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. Um, no, okay. Let's do some tarot. Spirit for the collective today, tell me about fruition. Tell me about fruition and uh, path, the path and beginnings, please. Tell me about fruition, the path and beginnings, please. For the collective. Discernment. This discernment card is a waxing gibbous. Okay, that's basically what the other whoops, what the other um this one right here. That's what it is. It's a waxing gibbous. It's like growing. Oh, it or no waxing crescent. It says it right there <laughs> on the bottom. Duh. A waxing crescent. Okay. Wax and Gibbous is bigger. Um, Four of Swords is showing up here. You guys have been in um, a serious healing mode. You guys have been lonely, but not lonely. You guys are just spending alone time. Um, I'm sorry for even saying that. You guys have, may have felt lonely in the past, but what this is here is um, with the gratitude and fruition and the path, it's like you've started seeing your destined path. You're aligning with your destined path, see? She's sitting there like kind of thinking, contemplating, but she goes. She goes for it. You guys have so many blessings on the way. It's not even funny. For, for a lot of you guys watching this, it's just... It's crazy. You just don't even see the blessings that's coming to fruition for you. The harvest moon, you guys, is, it's plentiful. I mean, look at her, look at her crown chakra. Her crown chakra is adorned in, in fruits and, and harvest and flowers and, and plants. And, and there's a, there's bees flying around and there's birds nesting on her, right? This is, um,
wow, you guys are just really tapping into your full potentials too. You guys are really in alignment with your higher self. You're really listening to your intuition as well. It's like you guys are really trusting, you guys. Um, and those of you that are not, this is your message to call for trust, to, to, to allow trust, to surrender to it. But for most of you guys, you have, you've surrendered. You've surrendered your seeds and what you've planted um, to the divine. And now you've trusted in the unknown path. And now it's blossoming. Look at this. You've trusted in the unknown path. And now on February 2nd, 2022, you're receiving new beginnings. Now with the Knight of Cups showing up on the bottom of the deck with discernment here and a 10 completion, this could be someone coming from the past, okay? Or it could just be, now it feels like someone from the past, I have to be honest. It feels like an ex, a karmic ex. Um, you know, we're, 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 we're on the tail end of Mercury retrograde, okay? Um, and then we have the shadow, uh, the, the post-shadow, right, period. So there might be a little confusion. Um, for some of you guys, your, 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 your headspace may be a little foggy too lately. Um, but just know that we're getting a lot of energies and downloads and influx of energy. So, um, you know, try to, try to, as speaking of fruition and nourishment, right? Like in all the fruits, try to eat healthy, try to nourish your body, your temple, you know, drink water, stay grounded, things like that. Okay. Um, sorry guys, hold on one second. I just need to grab my cap. Here. No, we cannot climb on the screen. Sorry, I had to boot him out because he started getting gray cray. <laughs> he was trying to um, army crawl on the window screen upwards. Okay, so anyways, you nourish your body, blah, 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 blah. You guys might have a little bit of head fog and that's kind of normal right now for many, okay? Um, we're just receiving a lot. But what this is for me is this is um, someone that you're gonna have to use your discernment with. Yeah, look, see the devil energy is showing up. See, it came out reversed. Um, so it shows me that this is a karmic energy that you released in the past. This is someone who is really good at love bombing. They come in and they love bomb you. They try to say all the right things. They try to like have sex and like, t and they try, you know, it's like a really disgusting kind of a energy to be honest with you guys. So this is for me, a toxic karmic or someone toxic from your past. Okay. This is what they were to you. This is what they were to you. You release that. And now, um, for a lot of you guys, they see all of your, uh, they see all of your, your abundance. They see everything coming to fruition in your life. Okay. Um, they see how much you've grown, how far you've come. See all the flowers that is fruit. That is abundance. That is abundance and blossoming, um, abundance and prosperity and everything around you. Okay. And even in this picture, look at her head is adorned in flowers. You guys are full of, 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 of fruitful ideas, creative ideas right now. This is the time. It is the most auspicious time, you guys, to manifest. We are in the new moon energy, the lunar new year, the witch's Sabbath. This is new beginnings. Look at the energies. It doesn't matter who you are or what you believe in. Religion, things of that nature, it has no business when it comes to the universe and the cosmos and the planetary placements and this and, and how it affects us energetically. Doesn't matter who you are, it affects you. It affects us. So use discernment. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and remove the devil energy from the from the reading. Um now the other energy that I'm receiving from this, you guys, is um, new beginnings with someone that is really loving, someone that actually is romanticizing for you, someone that actually is serious, someone that will actually um, want to want to be on your journey with you, someone who will want to be on the path with you and have new beginnings. I'm telling you, 222 is the year of divine unions. I've been channeling it since before last year. I've been channeling it saying that this year and certain times and even last year, there was gonna be these cycles of soulmates, twin flames, et cetera, coming into union, awakening. Um, and this is this is exactly what I foresaw, um, you know, a year ago, et cetera. So 
someone wants to um, be your knight in shining armor. I mean, it's as simple as that. And it's like what you deserve. It's like what you get. It's your blessings. It's, it's all of your wishes coming to fruition. The seeds that you've planted. You know, you've been doing a lot of work. A lot of work, you guys. <laughs> On yourselves. In your life. At your work. You know, in your job. In your career. You know, if you, if you own your own business, you've been really diving into that. King of Swords. King of Swords energy is coming up quite a bit, you know. Um, I was just going to say, and the Emperor, and look who shows up, the Empress. More than likely, this is you, your energy. Okay. You're pregnant, full of ideas, pregnant with ideas. See, I said that you guys have many fruitful, creative ideas at this time. You know, the Empress is, she is, she is the new abundant cycle. She is the the um the birth of new cycles that's what she is she's in receiving mode do you see how she the moon the gravitational pull from the moon to the earth you know but it's her that's what this is you know she is the divine feminine right the moon right she is the divine feminine but she is so high vibrational she is so high vibed. Her frequency is so high. She matches the frequency of Pachamama, of Mother Gaia, right? She embodies that. She is the embodiment of that. Her, her she, she's, she's intuitive. She's, she's emotional, you know, but she's, she's good emotions. She's receiving. She's receiving. She's magnetic. She's drawing things to her. What is she drawing to her? She's drawing to her the seeds that she has planted, the seeds that are now ready to be birthed. Fruition. And then right after her is the lovers, see? Wow. New beginnings indeed with divine lovers, divine unions, the lovers. Speaking of the lovers, you guys, I am running, um, if you guys want to get a personal reading done with me if you want to hone in on your own you know life your journey right now um your personal situationships twin flame journeys i'm still doing personal so if you want to i'm doing a valentine's day special and i'm calling it the lover's special actually and it's after the lover's card um my one hour readings were us are usually 180 for one hour and right now they're only 143 and my 30 minute sessions are usually $90 and they are um, $66 right now. So if you are wanting to do a reading with me, um, the pricing is good through February 11th and then um, it goes back to the normal pricing. So um, just email me. It's down below in the description box at gypsycowrolltarot at gmail.com and we'll get you set up. But this is someone coming in. They're being drawn to you. Someone's being drawn to you. It's a mag. I mean, look at the. It's a. It's a. It's major chemistry too. It's magnetic. More than magnetic. It's. It's divine. That's what I'm. That's what I'm receiving. I'm. I'm hearing more than magnetic. It's divine. Literally. Literally. Literally, my loves. Literally. Ooh yeah, it's divine. Look at that. Someone is waking up. There's some kind of enlightenment. All right. Spirit, tell me about new beginnings. For for the collective today. Tell me about new beginnings for the collective. It's the King of Cups. King of Swords and King of Cups. You could have two different um, masculine energies here. One who... Um, you know, one who's a little bit more stoic. One who um, really maybe doesn't open up or didn't open up or hasn't opened up. And then we have someone here. Um, and I feel that's the unspoken. There's some unopened envelope here. There's some things that need to be said here. Um, and I feel it's that king of swords that needs to say it. Okay. They need to speak up to the empress here. Because we have these tens. You know, ten, ten. This is completion. Completion of a cycle here. So for me, this is a cycle that you've already started with someone. See, it's like they're being drawn back. And we see see the dots around the moon here, and how it's dot 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 poking. See, but see the same the same dots are encircling and all around the lovers here. See, so they're definitely someone here who's being drawn back to you. 
um, I do feel that they have a lot of appreciation and gratitude towards you and your connection for whatever the reason. Now, the King of Cups could be the same person, um, but it does feel like for a lot of you guys, it's two different people. It's someone who is manifesting you. Um, it's someone who is, for me, it's like they, they've they developed some kind of feelings for you. They've, they have some feelings for you. That's, that's what I'm getting. Clarify new beginnings, please, for the, for, for the collective and lovers. New beginnings, lovers, and empress. Actually, eight of pentacles. Four of swords showed back up here from earlier. This king of swords, you guys, is someone who, um, they hurt you. They hurt you. See her, her heart. And again, we have the dots again. You know, the dots, the little polka dots, you know, in the tarot like this, it, it's to remind us of, um, you know, when there's like little polka dots, it's, it's supposed to be more of like a, a lighthearted energy, a lighthearted, um, loving kind of fun, just lighthearted energy. And that's why it's around, you know, like this kind of stuff. But it's also around the pentacles up here, see? Um, and we see like the stars in here and all that. So what I'm gathering is that like whoever this person is to you, um, this lover from the past or this love connection from the past, this king of swords energy. Um, by the way, the king of swords energy is not the same one that I was talking about earlier who's toxic. That is completely different. That is just one of your exes or an ex partner energy that could be trying to come back because they see you having a major glow up. Okay. And it's a retrograde. So there's that. Um, this person hurt you and they sent you into it. Like when you, it sent you into um, seclusion, you've been, it like sent you into seclusion and you've been healing and for some time, you know, it's like your heart was not even attached to you, but you're still energetically tied to them. But you've gone from this to this. And that is why they've gone from this to 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 this an eight of pentacles here is someone who is focused on you they're focused on you they're focused on one thing and one thing only um they're perfecting something working on something we have the moon on the bottom of the deck i'm hearing um fleetwood mac tell me love Tell me sweet little lies. Tell me lies. Tell me, tell me lies. See, told you. Fucking told you guys. See, yeah. Right as I'm singing Fleetwood Mac, we have the uh, the performer card to show up. See, Fleetwood Mac on stage. Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. Tell me lies. Yeah. Five of Cups, tell me lies. See, this person hurt you. This person hurt you. They let you down in some way. All right, but like I said, now they have seen you become the empress. They see you getting attention, shining. You could be a performer. You could be getting a lot of attention. You could have a, a, a platform somehow. Whatever it is, you're getting a lot of recognition. Um, a lot of recognition. Uh, this is someone who knows their worth. They know their worth. They know their value. Um, yeah, it could be it could be job related. You know, you could get a lot of attention through your through your work, your job. Um, you're definitely, you know, influencing people in some way. You're feeling good though. You're looking good and you're feeling good, right? Look at that. That's why we have all these new paths opening and portals opening and fruition here and, and all that other stuff, right? All right. So what else? What else? What else? Are we at 24 minutes? Let's just end. Oh, the sun. I was going to say, let's just end. And then we have the king of wands and then the king of pentacles and then the two of cups. 
You guys. You guys. You guys. <laughs> Look at all the kings here. Look at all the people trying to get your attention. Holy shit, Empress. And guess who's not here? Guess who the one person who's not here is? His counterpart, the Emperor. It doesn't matter though. One of these people I feel is. Okay. Now, another situation that we could have here. Okay. Maybe I do feel like I said you guys are getting a lot of attention. Okay. This is all the attention. We have all the kings out here. This is the attention you're getting. See, look at you. You're just like, la, 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 la. I'm just living my life, living my best life. And they're all watching you just so like in awe, right? And they all want union with you. They all want to court you, date you. They all see you as someone that could be the one for them. They see you as marriage material, right? But there's only one counterpart for you. Right? Right? I mean, granted, you could have many soulmates and things of that nature, right? But I'm talking about your divine counterpart, your twin flame, your, you know, whatever, 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 right? We have the two of cups and the lovers out here, you guys. And the sun for me. And then the new past, the two, which is, you know, the divine union. Um, even with the archway here, with the archway, you know, if you took out the center of the archway, it's, it's, it's an 11, right? Okay. So we have some kind of, um, some happiness, a relationship, love, something, right? Coming in for you. All right, let's do romance angels. For the collective spirit, tell me about the Empress, the Two of Cups, the Sun, and the Lovers. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Someone, um, you have freed yourself, okay? You have freed yourself of codependency, of, of old, you know, toxic ways. You're releasing the devil kind of energies, the low vibe, the shadow. Um, you've allowed yourself to be in separation from, you know, other people. You've kept yourself more secluded. You know, um, you've given yourself time to heal and glow up. And that's why all this is here. All right. But tell me about, tell me about love Just for yourself. For some of you guys, your person was in a connection and they had to free themselves. They, they freed themselves from a connection, um, to, to, to pursue you past life relationship. Yeah. It says you've known each other before. See, this is someone that you've known before. Someone that you've known before. Um, and you guys are past life soulmates here. And or twin flames. What does this person want? They want you to know that you deserve love. You're lovable. They just want you to know that like you deserve everything. I mean, look at they're viewing you as the empress. It says retreat. They want to spend time alone with you. They want to spend time alone with you. Also, they're in wedding gear. It's like, you know what I mean? All right. Yeah, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. There's something here where someone wants to work on something with you. Bring it back is what I'm hearing. And oh my God, you guys, I swear to you, I'm not even kidding. I'm hearing that song right now. Bring it, bring it back. Bring it, bring it, bring it back. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe. I don't even listen to music like that, you guys. But that was like a really popular song when I was like, I don't know, like 18, 19. All right, let's see. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get right into it, Oracle, okay? Give me overall messages, please. So clearly, guys, I said that there was going to be many paths opening. Clearly, you have many options coming in. For those of you that this message is for, you have many paths opening. Now, you do have a divine counterpart here. You do have someone... With this, with the two of cups and the and the lovers and the sun for me, this is the divine masculine. This is someone coming in that is your counterpart, okay? Um, but spirit wants you to know. Here's the thing, though. This is a two 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 reading, so spirit wants you to stay focused on that. So spirit was want you to focus just on one person. They want you to know, surrender that, like you know. Um, now, if you choose your twin flame journey, then yeah, obviously you're manifesting them. But if you are like, I'm ready for a divine partner, I'm ready for marriage, I'm ready for this, and you choose that, you know then that's another thing. But you have people watching you. You have people who are going to try to court you and date you. And that's what this whole thing is about. It's about the fact that there are um, all these things coming into your life, new beginnings, new doors opening. And that's what spirit wants you to know. 
Look at it. Right as I'm saying what spirit wants you to know, you have the element of spirit. This is spirit. It says, and it says exactly what I'm saying. Allow and trust in divine timing. The ball and chain. For a lot of you guys watching this, you have a divine counterpart here. Your soulmate, your twin flame. They have released a ball and chain. They were carrying around a ball and chain. A heavy weight, dead weight is what I'm hearing. And they released it. And now they are trusting in spirit. They're, they're, I'm telling you guys. It literally says trapped, codependent, heavy, weighed down, and unhappy marriage, emotional baggage, restrictions. Yeah. They cut the ties to come pursue you. See? Bottom of the deck. The devil showing up twice. They cut karmic ties. The devil is Capricorn energy. They cut karmic ties to pursue you. And now, hang hey, ma'am, see? We have 10 and then 11. Now they're single. They're single. Now they've gotten away from arguments tension, anger, fighting. See, that's what they were dealing with. And now they've gotten themselves single to pursue you. Um, why? Because look at that, the church, because they want to marry you. They can see themselves marrying you. You make them happy with the sun, the loons, another 10. And then we have the, the white wolf. Your, your spirit animal could be a wolf. Your, your person's spirit animal could be a wolf. You know, they say if you're presented a wolf in your lifetime, that is your spirit, your animal totem. Um, it's very powerful. 10 and 7 is 17. That's the star card. That's wish fulfillment and hope. This person has nothing but hope. They're believing in their own power now. They feel confident and they're coming for you. Why? Because they feel deeply committed to you. They, will, they can see a family with you. They want to manifest their deepest desires with you. They are all in for what they love, which is you. They want to reawaken lost hopes. And then we see the bottom of the deck, another two, tying up the end of the reading. The beginning of the reading, we got two. Now we get another two. This is the wheel turning. This is the forces of the universe. Karma and fate. This destiny. It's getting what you deserve. You guys are getting what you deserve. See? That's what spirit wants you to know. That's what this 222 is. All right, spirit. And what else for the collective? Let's just get one more. Oh, look at that, you guys. Another two. Now we have two, two, two. Right at the end. You guys are the magician. Spirit wants you to know that what the, the world is your oyster. Trust. I know that. That this portal, that's what this brings. Powerful manifestation. Powerful manifesting. Almost instant manifesting, you guys. That's what this is. So spirit wants you to know that this is the time. The time has come. Yes, the time has come. I've literally been channeling that and putting it in my posts and saying that the time is now. The time has come. All in regards to this energy. Culmination of effort, completion, abundance, fulfillment. It's fulfillment for you. It's the fruits of your labor. The fruits of your labor. See? The fruits of your labor, my loves. So... It's your harvest. It is time for you to move forward, move on. There's all these new beginnings and openings and portals for you. There's people trying to date you. There's lots of possibilities. There's a divine partner coming in who wants to be with you. Um, and you are the master manifester of your world at this time. So this is what I have for you, my loves. If this was your message, please claim it by liking and subscribing. Um, again, if you'd like a personal reading with me, if you want to hone in on your own twin flame journey, personal situationship, or you're just seeking some spiritual guidance um, from spirit uh, and myself, you can message me, email me below down the description box. Um, Thank you guys for the donations to the channel. It means the world to me. Um, I am offering private tarot lessons. I'm not offering them for very much longer. Um, it's $65 a lesson. I teach, I read gypsy style, so I teach the same way. Um, I teach you how to tap into your own spiritual gifts, your psychic abilities, intuition, things of that nature. Um, it's really powerful and everyone really loves it. So um, $65 a lesson, it's up to you how many. You can take one, you can take 10, it doesn't matter. It's up to you how many you take apart. If you're interested, email me. Um, and if you're guided, you can follow me on Instagram at gypsy cowgirl tarot. And that's all you guys. Happy February 2nd, 2022. This is absolutely insane and beautiful. I sent you guys love and light, many blessings, and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.